everybody. Welcome back to this issue of Staffing Monthly. As you can see, we are full on celebrating the year of the referral. And that's where we're going to be living this year is focusing how do we help you get more talent into your pipeline by better leveraging your database and your workforce and putting in a referral culture to help you grow. You heard several of the staffing thought leaders last year talk about this referral mindset, this referral match culture. And it seems to be the next impactful frontier that we can be moving into this year. And I want to help us all get there to help us grow and fill our orders. But before we get into that, I have a really special guest that we're going to be interviewing today. And I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. I will tell you, uh, as we look to 2023 and we think about uh, some of the new tools that are emerging, you know, the next big threat to the recruiting industry is certainly uh, on the forefront. You know, we heard about it with, you know, job boards was going to, you know, they were going to kill the industry and we had to figure out how to adapt uh, and be- leverage those tools. Then it was LinkedIn was going to kill the staffing and recruiting industry. And then we just had to adapt and figure out how to, uh, you know, leverage it to become better. And then now that that next existential threat for our industry is AI and automation. And this one is a little bit of a game changer. It's a little bit different than those other uh, aforementioned threats. Uh, But in one area, it's the same. It's a a tool. And that's the interview we're going to focus on today. So uh, I actually have a a very special guest that I'm going to bring on here in a second. And I just want to welcome you to Staffing Monthly and just tell us a little bit about yourself and where you're from. Hi, Daniel. Thanks for having me on Staffing Monthly. I'm very excited to be here. My name is Aileen from Worktron Staffing and we are a very tech progressive agency. We are always on the forefront leveraging the newest technology to best serve our talent, our clients, and overall advance the industry. Awesome. Okay. Well, on that note, I think that's really cool that you work for such a tech progressive firm. And that's what we want to dig into because this is technology that is starting to permeate the world. It's certainly starting to permeate the, 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 I guess, the everyday conversation. And people are curious about these tools that are becoming readily available. And we're curious about what it's going to do to our industry. Like, is this going to be the job board, the LinkedIn, or is this going to be something different? So I'm, I'm curious, how do you think that AI is going to disrupt recruiting? AI has the potential to disrupt recruiting by automating many of the tasks involved in the hiring process such as screening resumes, scheduling interviews, and conducting initial interviews. It can also analyze data from resumes and interviews to identify patterns and make more informed hiring decisions. Additionally, AI can be used to create more personalized and efficient recruiting experiences for both job seekers and employers. However, it is important to note that AI is not a replacement for human recruiters, rather it is a tool for them to make the process more efficient and accurate. Okay, I I agree. I think that's actually a really thoughtful answer on that, and I will uh, I will echo that. I do think that it can be used to create that more personalized and efficient recruiting experience for for on both sides, the the job seeker and and the employers or our clients. Um, I also love the fact that you included that it's important to note that AI is not a replacement for human recruiters, right? If we fear that it will be that, uh, eventually that will come to pass, right? But if we actually understand that it's it's a tool that we can use and we adopt and embrace this tool and we become the masters of this tool, our clients will still come to us to use that tool, right? You know, just like the hammer didn't replace the carpenter, you know, it made the carpenter better, right? that, that kind of concept. So, so I love that. So, but thinking about our industry, though, obviously we have to staff clients, right? And we have to find workers. Uh, what is the shift of this going to be uh, as we look at this? Like, how do you think AI is going to affect the future of work? Automation is likely to have a significant impact on the future of work. It has the potential to increase productivity, reduce costs, and improve efficiency but it may also lead to job displacement and a shift in the types of jobs that are in demand. Automation technologies such as artificial intelligence and robotics are becoming more advanced and are being adopted in a wide range of industries, including manufacturing, transportation, and healthcare. 
This will change the way many jobs are performed and may lead to the creation of new, more highly skilled jobs. It's important to consider how to prepare workers for the changes that automation will bring, including through education and training programs. Interesting. Interesting that you specifically called out the industries with manufacturing, transportation, and healthcare. Obviously, we know that manufacturing has been adding automation and robotics for a long time, right? Like they've been adding that piece in there for a number of reasons. Uh, transportation, you know, it's it's well documented that there is a massive shortage of drivers out there, which is why, you know, companies like Tesla are working so hard to create those you know, not only green electric sustainable vehicles, but, you know, that are autonomous to be able to ship the goods and services that, you know, we as American consumers and consumers globally, uh, you know, need so desperately that we saw when, you know, the pandemic hit and it shut a lot of this down, how disruptive it was to the supply chain, not being able to get those goods and services out there. And healthcare, that's that's really an interesting one with automation and some of the things they're doing there. So I will be curious to see, um, how these things impact those industries. And it, I, I guess based on what you're, what you're saying and what you're seeing at Worktron is that you're thinking that maybe agencies should start looking at uh, more skilled jobs and becoming maybe more, more niche down and, and working with clients that are going to need that skilled labor that isn't going to be so easily, easily replaced. So that being said, is there a specific industry out of there that's like the greatest threat to be replaced by automation or AI that you're seeing? It is difficult to predict which specific industries will be fully replaced by automation or AI, as it depends on various factors such as the rate of technological advancement, cost-benefit analysis, and government regulations. However, it is likely that industries that involve repetitive tasks and data analysis, such as manufacturing, transportation, and customer service, will see increased use of automation and AI in the near future. Additionally, industries that involve decision-making and problem-solving, such as finance and healthcare, may also see increased use of AI. Interesting. So I see you're coming back to that manufacturing and transportation, but you mentioned customer service. And this is one, I think we see this, obviously, the phone tree and a lot of the chat bots and automated you know, messaging certainly is hitting that. Um, I'll be curious to see how much the consumer can actually take of that. I, I know when I'm going through that, sometimes I get frustrated because the prompts are a little bit wonky. Um, and I just, I get a sense that uh, getting having a real person back there is going to be helpful. So I'll be curious to see how th that one really hits. Um, but yeah, I, I see that you know decision making and problem solving is going to be a you know a key area as well to to keep an eye on. But with that, it, with that in mind, let me let me ask this question: What skills do you actually think will be in the most demand once? automation and AI displace these jobs? Like, let's look at the other side of it, outside of displacement. Like, what is what is still going to be there? What's going to be more in demand? And where should the workforce be thinking? And then ultimately, where should agencies be looking to steer their business services and their recruiting efforts to, to keep up with this? Skills in demand once automation and AI displace jobs are likely to be those that cannot be easily replicated by machines such as creativity, critical thinking, emotional intelligence, and problem solving. Additionally, skills in technology, data analysis and programming will also be in high demand, as they will be necessary for creating, operating and maintaining the automated systems. Interpersonal and communication skills will also be important as they will be necessary to interact with these systems and to help others understand and use them. That's fascinating. I, I actually really, I agree with that. I agree with that, Aileen. I just, when I think about, you know, uh, the data analysis and, you know, positions that require emotional intelligence, things that are really uh, more human, right? I, obviously, that makes sense that those would be more in demand. And then obviously, every time there's disruption in one industry, there's always a new industry born of it. And there's going to be those people that need to you know, build and service this AI automation industry until eventually those get, you know, outsourced automation AI as well. And the cycle keeps continuing. So I, I think that's going to be big. I, stereotypically speaking, I, I think there might be, you know, uh, a challenge to face with the interpersonal and communication skills, because there's these stereotypes now that the, the younger generation might not possess those, uh, those, 
interpersonal and communication skills that are on par with standards set by previous generations. And I know that's a stereotype, and I, I know some very, very uh, well presented, you know, younger generation Gen Z millennials that have amazing interpersonal skills and communication skills. But I think that's going to be an interesting thing to to pay attention to as far as we, when we look at that. It's actually going to be a, a a really good question to to ask our Gen Z perspective expert Hannah McDonald the next time that we catch up. I'm going to make sure that we we chat with her about that one. Um, Listen, I, I appreciate your feedback. I appreciate you joining us here today, Aileen. This has been uh, it's eye-opening to see what kind of technology is being used in our industry and what you're doing over there at Worktron. Um, and I am just, I'm thrilled to, to stay in touch and don't be shocked if I reach back out to you to, to get you back on the interview schedule, to see what else you're doing. The thing is you're always looking at the uh, the forefront of technology and how to push the industry forward. So thank you again for your time. and. Uh, until next time.